How are you all are? I'm glad for you to see me. I care won't T. It's me, Simon Smith. Yes, I am here with another episode of Rant, the Rant Squad podcast. Hopefully, my co-host Steve and DST will show up soon. Because uh, I try to hope they do show up. This is not the Rant Squad without them. I, I didn't re- watch NXT tonight, so I can't really go over that. Um, I was up on Steve's watch along for a while. But she did a pretty good uh, watch along. I recommend going out and uh, uh, checking it out on the playback. Jimmy Uso get, got another DUI. Of course he did. As, as, soon, as soon as you put him in the main base, like, where's the beer at? Glug, 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 glug. Now where's my car? I don't know if, why anybody would actually be shocked about it. I, I know I have. I'm not. I, I'm not. How is everybody's uh, Tuesday going up in the chatty? If you don't got time to watch us live, check us out on wherever you get your podcasts from. If you're watching us on the playback over on by audio podcast, check us out at Cineville Productions on YouTube. I we, I do a we we do a Rant Squad podcast uh, five days a week. Um, check it out. And if you really like it what you're enjoying, please check out patreon.com slash Cineville Productions. The link is in your description. I may after I go we go up there, make sure you check out the Swerve Show and at Razors of Wrestling if Razors of Wrestling is doing anything. On Patreon we have have uh, different tiers with that comes with different perks. Uh, so you'll you'll actually uh, be able to get something back from your buddy as well as supporting our podcast and making us be able to expand more on the channel and do more stuff on the channel. I'm wondering where, where my podcast buddies are. The guy to leave me high and dry right now. Hopefully, uh, Bits isn't too mad at uh, Jimmy Uso for doing what he did. Maybe Roman will be beat him down on on SmackDown. I guess we'll have to wait and see what pans out. Okay, Steve. No problem. Yeah, definitely check out Steve Callen's NXT review over on his YouTube channel. Um, tomorrow is the, is the, the, 
it's dynamite pay-per-view. Not pay-per-view, what am I thinking? The dynamite watch along here on our channels. On my channel, I should say. Um, I, I'm just trying, right now, I'm just trying to buy some time before Steve comes up and join me. As well, well, CST, okay, DST, uh, but whatever you get a chance. Um, but hopefully tomorrow Dynamite will actually be pretty good. And here is my co-host DSD. What is you, DSD? What is you, Sullivan? I am not feeling like, well. Wow, well, that yeah. sucks. You're steep. Hey, yeah. So I just had to upload my review. Oh man. Yeah. Well, I don't plan on making this a long, long stream anyway, DST. All right. Well, well, I'll still try my best. Okay. Of course, we got Road Racer, Road <laughs> Rager tomorrow. I said Racer. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> of course, we got Road Rager tomorrow night on Wednesday yep. for Dynamite. And, of course, uh, Great American Bash for NXT just ended. Are we, yeah. are we going to have a night two? I hope not. No, I don't know. That's dependent. No. It was just the one night. No, this is no. That was just the that was the only night for the American Bash. Okay. Good. We remember the last American Bash. Keith Lee was the undisputed NXT champion. Oh wow! The North. Winning the North American and the world title. Where is he now? Not even on TV. Catering. He's in catering. He's in catering. Enjoying every second of it. <laughs> While his uh, puffy ass Asian girlfriend just is there. And of course, I have the NBA Finals. Game one is tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's cool. been a massive back and forth earlier in the first half, uh, but it closed off to a fifty-seven to uh, to forty-nine deficit. Just wow. so far, Phoenix leads by uh, six. Cool. I mean, no, by eight. By eight so far, and uh, cool. their best player for the Milwaukee Bucks is on the is finally on the court. Wow, nice. I I heard that uh, he was supposed to be playing, if he was healthy enough, he could play game seven. But uh, thank God that they won that series so he could at least be near uh, 100% for yeah, championship true. game. Yeah, that's a good thing. And, uh, of course, we got Friday Night SmackDown. A few people did not know. Uh, many other people reported that Jimmy Uso reportedly got a DUI after literally having a main event segment with goddamn Edge. Literally just the last week. Imagine you're in a good position and you fuck it up. I don't get it. <laughs> Me either. I, I wonder how, how they're going to... Uh, what his punishment's going to be. He's probably just going to have a minor suspension and miss a few weeks so they can still save up for the pay-per-view. He's probably going to miss Money in the Bank. That's the most they are going to have to uh, bring back J uh, Jay just so they can have less drama come in but still make the storyline coherent. I really don't care because the Usos always do this. I don't know why the Usos always do this. Me either. Okay, now it's 58 to 50, 52 to 59. 
And a three-pointer. Missed again. Holy shit. Can someone please trade this guy? Trade this guy. I'm being serious. He scored single digits for the last four games of the series when he faced Atlanta, and he's playing garbage against the Suns of all people. Yeah. If, if you're telling me in the few years in the future when LeBron James has a super team, but the Phoenix Suns and the Milwaukee Bucks make it to a championship game, then I think somebody been playing the video uh, the video game way too long. Well, well, I actually have the Suns to w- win it. The whole series or this game? Whole series. Oh. I I want to doubt over that. I feel like the Suns will lead by two come uh, over the next three games, but I feel like uh, Milwaukee will get will get, will win the series. Yeah, but that's just uh, dependent if the Suns are up for it. Yeah, I saw your. Oh, our- I'm s- sorry. I apologize. I just saw one of the players had an awkward fall on his ankle. That was. That oh, was that sucks. Ouch. Oh, hopefully he's there. Hopefully he's Sorry okay. about that. Go ahead, Cinnamon. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. say, I saw your RK Pro Sucks video earlier. Oh, and yeah. I could have, I could have agreed more with you about that hothead thing with Matt Riddle. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I don't find the hype between Riddle. I mean, he seems like an all right guy. They probably don't have the character that they have, but you have a dude that is a legit athlete, is a legit MMA guy. And if you want to protest that he has an over, uh, like, you know, presumptively laid back but cocky character, just make him like Rob Van Dam back in the early ECW days. Yeah, that's like, how make I would, him... think he would do it. Yeah. Oh, they're trying to compare a dirty player on that uh, accidental fall ankle. Oh, that's not cool. But, well, what because was it his fault? Because I'm not watching the game. It didn't look per- on purpose. That's all I'm going to say. I mean, you're not always going to watch the trajectory of the uh, when your leg is going to fall. <laughs> yeah. Unless uh, he knew. But, uh, yeah, I, I really hate RK, bro. All I know, they are going to drop the titles to them just to get some stupid heel turn, probably off Riddle. To get him over, even though nobody even know who the hell he is, and uh, all his shut talking is going to be for naught because he can't get himself over. So uh, oh. I know how this is going to fail. Everybody don't want to expect the unexpected because they want somebody from NXT's failed ass farm system that's now a super indie to succeed. And uh, don't get me wrong, I don't mind WWE. I re- I support WWE young talent. That's the thing because that's how wrestling works. Whenever the what? newer stars, get, when the big stars get old, you're supposed to get they're, new ones. That's how it works. Yeah, they're they're young talents, like in their thirties. Though that is not that is not young talent. No, how much side do they actually have left in the ring? They probably have at least near a decade remaining if they wrestle the same goddamn way. Uh, their athleticism might fail because that's technically it. They're in physical prime petite shape, especially Johnny Gargano. Like, this guy has already a wife that already looks ugly, so I already know that he's probably yeah. in his mid-30s or something. Yeah. And uh, Tommaso Ciampa, that, his wife is probably fat. He looks in too better shape than his wife, so I already know that his wife probably looks overweight or not that good as him. Not that good as him. Like, there's, there's no fucking way that these guys are coming over to the main roster because Vince probably doesn't find them a high priority. No. No, definitely not. Plus, Johnny Gogano has an NXT championship match next week. Oh, man. Why well, couldn't he just sell it over for the Great American Bash thing? Hmm. No idea. Was the main event, girl, uh, was the main event Colin O'Reilly? Yeah, that was, yeah, that was the main event. In the total, that was three matches tonight. And just to think that we would have uh, less of, uh, you know, so much wrestling, very less excitement. 
I mean, I guess for road, uh, road for rager. uh road rate road rager. I apologize, apologize for that. Uh, there's a bit more taste of this because we're actually going to be in a different setting than being in Tampa Bay for the last. I mean, in Jacksonville for the last uh, what year and a half? Yeah, uh, this whole COVID thing. I'm going to tell you people that uh, this COVID thing has pretty much changed a lot of ways how people how people are right now, and uh, probably going to change significantly for pro wrestling. Yeah, but also killed a lot of things in pro wrestling that uh, I hope stay dead, like Chikara. Oh yeah, I don't blame you. I yeah. really don't. Like, I'm not saying that everything has to be WWE esque. I respect that everybody goes their own way, but oh god, yeah. Some of these people, they 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 make it too indie to take it seriously or to take it that or take it in a fun way. Well, it's taken in a cringe way, bro. Yeah, bro. Let yeah. me do a cart. Let me do a cartwheel, and then a handspring. I'm gonna come off the ropes, just to give you a clothesline. No way is that gonna garner any momentum or logical uh, physics to hurt you, but it's just gonna look so cool. <laughs> I hate yeah, that type basically. of fucking wrestling. <laughs> And, and I'm not gonna feel. I watch back over. I didn't grow up on '90s wrestling, but every time I watch over '90s wrestling, I feel like this looks more realistic. Yeah, like real guys would try to force you down on the floor whenever they do a clothesline. Real guys would actually make sure that whenever they're doing a high risk maneuver, it's a last resort. And whenever yeah. something big happens, it happens on pay per view. Like that's how I'm not gonna say be. that night night. That's how it should be. I'm not, I'm not saying that you can't do stuff frequently how it was in the past. Uh, but uh, new wrestling has now came over to that much that they want to force a niche to be a norm. And whenever you knew, do, you just have your own subgenre that doesn't want to, uh, that always want to on and off watch because they know that they can't watch the same thing they like for a long time. And uh, that's why you get so much of a very little fan base that you had back in the day. Nobody wants to admit yeah. that. I know because I've been also part of some sorts of niches in pro wrestling or any other fan base, and it ends up either dead, I lose interest, or uh, I hate I hate the community that it sets. Just like pro yeah. wrestling, like I'm no, not nothing saying comes go, as toxic. Yeah, I'm not saying go back and do like. Try to do the same storyline. Just go back and try to get, get that formula and make it work today. Yeah, Raw could still be at a three point one. Nobody is understanding that. Rush, Raw used to be in a part where where a, a Super Bowl game ain't shit. Yeah, people would rather watch uh, Edge cashing in at John Cena. Uh, for to win the world title, then watch the national championship from that year. Yep. And that now, if there's just like a regular season game game on, I'll watch that instead of wrestling. And then there's people that uh, like I think journalists even excuse the semblance. First of all, sports are done nearly every or are seasonal. So yeah. there's only a sentence of baseball and being your highest chance to garner outside ratings because you know baseball's not as big as it was over four, thirty over forty years ago. So yeah. you're inexcusing like what? I'm sorry, Dave Meltzer. You're telling me spring season is m less important than fall season of WWE. How is that supposed to garner over viewership other than holiday season? Mm. Exactly. What are you drawing over holiday season? I don't know. I don't know. What happens, uh, Steve? Are you watching a hockey game? No, that's not uh, tomorrow. Oh, okay. What, what were you reacting to? I don't know. I actually was not reacting to anything. Okay. I was about to say, oh, I'm confused. Like, okay, are you watching the game or something? No, I'm just... But, uh, but if we're looking at the current... Uh, see, uh, look into 
why the viewership is declining. It, you can't just blame it over an outside viewership because back in the day, when Raw was pulling nearly a quarter of the U.S. population. Yeah, that's a, that's that's mainstream territory. And over that sentiment, WWE has lost over ninety percent of their view- viewership, and over there, and most of the other people that even defend, oh, why do you hate it? If why don't you just don't? But you don't want to watch it anymore. Yeah, no. Nope. I'm at the point where I don't even want to watch it. Most people that even talk about the stuff like you like find it a chore. They find it a job. Joe Cronin finds it a job. General Jerry finds it a job. What culture finds it a job? Save here. If I, I feel if like we were job. getting donos from this. If if Rant Squad was getting donos off this, mark our words, we would be doing this a lot more enthusiastically because you know we're getting paid for it, not because yeah. we actually enjoy it. Yep. Thank you for that. Check out patreon.com slash serial productions. Links in the description. Get per perks for each tier. The first tier you get private thigh pics from Steve. What? <laughs> just, just what he means by that is just go find a chick, a random chick, and then uh, take a picture of its leg. <laughs> and of course, I in the second tier, you also get Tammy Switch uh, slash uh, Sonny's Hall of Fame ring that I still own. <laughs> I do not know why I still have it. All I know is I nearly lost a pinky. <laughs> Uh, but, bro, I, I also want to put another thing into perspective. WWE, I, 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 I don't know if this is like a thing that they feel like all oh, because they change demographic doesn't mean you can't do it organically. Why can't they make a character feel more organic? Like make it feel like this is where they went to go from here. Hmm. Like, now it's on a Seth Rollins heel turn because the fans bitch because I'm a little princey cuck that, that, that I know that my wife is more important than me. Literally, he, they're literally making feuds off that. Yeah. And uh, there will be a future video on uh, why Becky Lynch is not that special coming out. Because uh, okay, I think I make it abundantly clear that I hate this bitch. I hate this I, bitch. I can't wait Becky to see Lynch. It. Becky Lynch is the most overrated uh, g- ginger I've ever seen in my life. At least Seamus got size. He has experience. He's not that bland. Yeah. He 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 makes. He has matches that I remember a bit. And uh, he tries to at least change his look and his character. Like, he tries to feel like, I need to be on TV, so I need to do this. <laughs> Seamus, yeah. most people might not like him. Some people might overrate him a bit. But I find him a guy that I don't mind keeping in the WWE. He's not a bad wrestler, not a bad look, and he never gets on anybody's bad side. He seems like a serviceable hand. Yeah, But uh, when it comes to Becky Lynch... This uh, part of the four horse women, women's revolution bullshit. By the way, so why make, why call something a boom period when the boom period doesn't even garner popularity? It's like having the Renaissance, but ha- nobody comes into an exhibit. Imagine the Italian Renaissance, but nobody shows up to an exhibit. That's that's the women's revolution. Because you had yeah. your own pay per viewers, and they had it had the lowest buys in history, and Becky Lynch is a core draw and can't draw a dime for that event. Nope. I'm not. I'm not gonna always be like, oh, one of the, one of the reasons why is because they don't they don't show enough tits, or I'm I'm not always going to show that. You can actually make women important draws while making them good wrestlers. I'm not going to denounce that. Uh, the, like Lita, yeah. Lita and Trish Stratus 
were, of course, <laughs> eye candy, but they were also yeah. mainstream parts of pro wrestling, had memorable yeah, matches, and, they, and of course had memorable spots. Yeah, and they could actually wrestle. Yeah, Sable, I guess. And, you know, she was there because she was popular and had eye candy. Uh, yeah. AJ Lee, yeah, Mickey James. You yeah. can have good looking women wrestle. Like you, nobody wants to watch a five out of ten wrestle dude. I'm sorry, that's why people don't like Bailey. <laughs> she looks like that white spider yeah, exactly. from that kids' cart. She has the face of that white spider from that kids' cartoon from Nick Jr. Wow. She looks disgusted. I'm sorry. That the only thing going for her is that she has a nice, she has a good looking butt. Other than that, yeah. nobody wants to hear her talk. Nobody wants to hear her do a promo. She's so average in the ring. She makes a Hell in a Cell match seem like it's just a regular fight. I mean, a regular match. It, and she issues, like, no semblance of charisma. I literally explained this. And I, and I understand people can have their own opinion. If you like Becky Lynch, all the power to you. I'm happy you can enjoy what I don't. And if, yep. and if that's... And if that's... uh. Making and if that's the wrestler that you feel like is a uh, somebody that you admire, or somebody that you feel is a reason why you watch the show, I I'm glad that that happens for you. But in my opinion, I feel like you could survive a decade without Becky, without Bailey, Becky Lynch, Bo- Be- Sasha Banks. All these women have these overrated ass matches, but you guys only remember the matches and never the promos or the segments. Yeah. Literally, whenever they even bring up the Just shit like women's guys. division, all they bring up is Helen. Just to let you guys Sorry, go know, I've, I've, I've got to be wrapping things up in about 10 minutes. Just to let you guys know. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, like, we can bring up the TakeOver Brooklyn match, Hell in a Cell 2016. There are a handful of main events on Raw and SmackDown. And... Every time I just watch it, I don't take it like, <clears throat> okay, they're making, all right, the women are big stars. All right, who are these women? And literally, that's the answer. Who are these women? Being the boss is not a character. Being no. uh, the man is not a character. Being a hugger isn't a character. And, what the fuck, Charlotte Flair? Literally just, she just looks like Dolph Ziggler with a vagina. I don't know yeah. what the hell Bailey is. Either. Sasha Banks Sasha Banks looks like a 30-year-old, 19-year-old that looks like a street hooker with bad hair dye and no charisma. You are idolized by Eddie Guerrero. How do you not want to have any charisma? That yeah. hurts me. Eddie Guerrero that hurts me. charisma. I mean, sure, back in the early, like, mid to, mid-90s, Sure, he was a bit bland. He was still a great wrestler, but yeah. he was missing something. But then he came over to the WWF, showed his life, uh, showed that he was a playboy, emphasized more of his cheating, it got the connection yeah. over to the fans, over to his character, even if it was racially insensitive. It still got over. It was realistic, relatable, yeah. and it was funny. And that can... made him over to a mid- basic mid-carder to his top star. Yeah, go ahead. That speaking of Eddie Guerrero, I watched something on YouTube about the day he won the title, and Eddie Guerrero mm-hmm. himself said he never thought he was going to be like the the guy, the, like the champion, that, that's what heavyweight happened. champion. And and when Vince first told him, he didn't he didn't believe Vince. Yeah, pal, I love it. And he and you know what? After like his feud with Batista back in 2005, he could have been a two-time world champion at that point. Yeah, if it wasn't for his wish health he problems. Was. Yeah, I really wish he was. A lot of people still miss him. Shout out to Bonavide Heat. I know he's a well-renowned uh, Eddie Guerrero fan. Oh, me too. I but, loved. Him. I loved Eddie. Yeah, he was a big fan. Uh, yeah, I I was bigger on Rey Mysterio, but uh, yeah. Sadly, I that, never. Sadly, I never got to see Eddie actually wrestle. Same. Only time, 
only time I seen Eddie live was during the Latino Heat thing, when he came out uh -huh. during, during No Mercy, I believe, and hit China in the back with the flowers with the lead pipe in the middle of it. Oh, okay. The, the, that so was the, the only time thing I got China. to see him live. Yeah. Only time yeah. I got to see him live. I wish I got to see him live. He, I mean, he, he sounds was, like a really cool dude. Yeah, he was at a, like a couple of events, but like house shows he didn't wrestle at. Because when I, me and my brother and sister law used to uh, run out to the parking garage that overlooked where where the wrestlers uh, came in and out of the building. Yeah. And he actually he came out. I'm like, I look. We looked at each other like. When was Eddie Guerrero on the card? We didn't see him. Yeah. And it's just uh, sad. But uh, Sasha Banks, all these women should be occurring to themselves to a higher standard. Like, what's going to make me stand out? All right, NXT, get, reoccurring NXT gimmick should not be a standout. No. Uh, the, Shield weren't, the Shield weren't on NXT. The Shield were on the main roster. Yeah. You need to make yourself stand out to make sure you're a different person. Nobody wants to know the Sasha Banks from NXT. People want to know the Sasha Banks from Monday Night Raw and SmackDown. These these yep. people don't know how it is to make a, make sure a character sounds more authentic when it doesn't come from something that's a lower sphere. And uh, yeah. I feel like that's what we're missing. Yeah. I don't mind Hell, sex Stone, appeal. Me either. Hell, Stone Cold could get over the word what? Nowadays, people wouldn't be able to do that. No. Oh, don't worry. They think Miz gets over by the word really. No, that, that doesn't come close to the what chance that used to happen. Ooh. Or the yes chance. Yep. I guess oh, um, I just found out this was Jimmy's fourth DUI, fourth DUI charge. Second. Been worked. No, he, this is his fourth DUI charge since... Oh. Four. God, I found it from a source. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I thought, when are they gonna take its license? Well, I thought it was only second one, but no. Uh, I don't help Jimmy face Jeff Hardy in the battle of the DUI. Yeah. The the battle of the junkies. <laughs> Well, I Sorry, think I'm going to come off. I am a fan of you, yours, so please forgive me. I'm just surprised with that. When I'm sorry Hardy to cut you off, Steve. I got to come off real quick. I got to come off. I'll see you guys for uh, Dynamite. Okay. Right, thanks for having me. Pe yep. Thanks for coming right. on. Peace out. Well, Peace. Well, thanks, Sin. It was fun. Yeah. Thanks for coming on, everybody. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check out DST Show and Steve Gout on YouTube. And peace out, everybody.